Hi, everybody. I have a collection here of crosses. There's a little purple wooden cross. I have a cross carved on a stone. Can you see that? Kind of cool. I have this kind of crazy, I think it's a cross. And I have a cross that my son made at camp out of leather. I got this cross in the mail from a really good friend. Isn't that beautiful? And I got this cross, which I love. See the jewels going around it? And I have this cross that I wear. I don't know if you can see it here all the time. Well, these crosses all represent and remind me of the big cross that Jesus had to carry. He suffered and yet he still laid his life down for all of us. And crosses, as you can see here in our church, and the big one up on the wall, remind us that when we follow Jesus, it's not always easy. Our scripture today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18 the Word of God. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but for us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So for those who don't believe, the cross doesn't make sense. But to us, it is the power of God. Whoa. We first learn about the cross in the Old Testament. Now, some of you are thinking, hold on a minute, Miss Sally. Jesus wasn't even born yet in the Old Testament. You're right. The Old Testament starts at the very beginning when God created heaven and earth and all the things that led up to the New Testament and Jesus' life. But his life was foretold as well as his death in the Old Testament. So, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, it describes how the Messiah would remain silent in the face of false accusations and would be beaten and mocked. And in chapter 50, the Savior would be hurt to save our sins, and by his wounds, we would be healed. And the prophet Daniel revealed that the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. And that's in Daniel chapter 9. The Savior would die among criminals, Isaiah chapter 53, and people would gamble for his clothing in Psalm 22. The cross is a reminder of what Jesus willingly did. He knew exactly, exactly what was going to happen, and he did it anyway, to pay for our mistakes forever to give us a way to God, to make it possible to have a relationship with him. We are loved beyond measure. No matter what we've done, what we do, what we're going to do, or what we don't do, the cross represents a love foretold and talked about many years before it happened an unconditional, forgiving, grace-filled love, a love the world does not understand and cannot give. Because of the cross, our debts have been paid and we are free from sin. Let's pray. God, we thank you for sending your only son to live and die for us to willingly endure pain, to save us from our sin and make a way to you. Help us understand the greatness of the cross and help us to be patient when others do not. We pray for children everywhere that they will feel your love and hope. And during this time of abundant hurts and worries, help us lift them to you and know your abundant love overcomes all. In your precious son's name we pray, and all God's children say, Amen. See you later, guys.